My name is Benyam Tadell. I'm a senior here at Warner, uh, history and English double major, and my family is from Ethiopia. Uh, my name is Honey, and um, I'm a human biology major. I want to become a nurse. My name is Ephra Mamo and I'm almost a junior and my major is human development and a minor in ministry. Right, my name is Swamu Geta Kasai. I haven't figured out my major yet and I'm a sophomore. Actually, I was born in Ethiopia and we moved away from uh, Negele Warana. Uh, which is where I was born, uh, because of the famine that affected Ethiopia. It caused like 400,000 deaths. Images don't really prepare you for like what starvation smells like. I think when you like go there and you your nostrils burn from like starvation, people hurting, it's different. Um, is it? I was born in America. Hearing stories just made me like, why am I tripping about not having new brands of shoes or new clothing line? My family didn't have nothing back then. Uh, I remember when I was uh, 10, just eating one meal a day, really not having shoes or clothes to change every day uh, as a result of the pen. At the time, my family was considered a middle class. I mean, imagine the, the lower class if they you know, weren't even to get, able to get a one meal a day. Watching little kids like who didn't have parents, they were asking for money to go get something as simple as like a piece of bread or like that really occurs. Because a lot of people can't imagine it. It's like static. You know, in your brain, you're like, what? I can't imagine what that would be like for a six year old to actually be fending for themselves. But that is common. That is, that is like rudimentary. I, I remember like, my parents struggling to just give us a little food, you know, it, was, it didn't have to be a big meal or just bread, you know, it was, it's, it was even hard to do that. There was times when, like, we got really hungry and we'll just ask our mom, like, where's the food? Like, can you please give us some food? And, like, no, I remember, like, just eating sugar. Like, that was our food. You know, I just remember the look on her face, like, she didn't. She didn't know, like, what to tell us. People there are so desensitized to the to the amount of famine and death that seeing a six-year-old on the street starving isn't the most devastating thing that a lot of people have seen. My dad is a taxi driver. My mom cleans at a hospital. And all their money they're making, half of that, they're sending it back to home. For their parents. For us, if we were to ever experience that, it'd be something that we would we would jump for a call to action and say that's unbelievable. You know, people would write about the story of one single kid in America who was experiencing that. Well, there's millions of people in Ethiopia, in East Africa in general, um, that are struggling with that. That that's their reality every day. They wake up and they know I'm. I might not make it. Why should they care? Um, why, why should the Warner community care? The famine um, really just destroys the li like people's lives. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's hard for me to tell people why. I think articulating, trying to articulate something as, as devastating as that kind of famine and like those kind of images that are kind of seared into my brain I couldn't do it justice. I'm kind of happy I went through it because um, I'm, I wouldn't be who I am today, I guess, because um, if, if I didn't go through that. I'm thankful that they made the decision to travel all the way to America so I can have a future. Um, to me, like, really humble, you know, to be here. Like, me and my family, we survived. My goal is to get a good education and, you know, make it make a difference in Ethiopia. Really helping and doing everything they can about the famine is actually serving Christ. We're trying to make Christ our foundation on campus in our life, so it's just helping out. That means we're loving one another and um, really trying to live for Christ. He 
talks about um, in John to love one another and to serve, so it's important too. Uh, we can't like go through life knowing or go a day just knowing that you know, our, our brothers and sisters are hungry.